solving a system of linear equations with two variables using the method of elimination. Now we've all heard the word eliminate. If you're going to eliminate the competition, you're going to get rid of them. If you're eliminating waste, you're stopping waste. You're getting rid of the waste. And that's exactly what we're going to do with our variables. We are going to eliminate one of the variables in order to solve for the other. So let's say we have an equation, y plus 2x equals negative 1. This is a linear equation, it's a line. And if we added 5 to both sides of it, no big deal. Still the same equation, it's still balanced as long as we do the same thing to both sides. If we multiply both sides by 5, still the same equation. We've multiplied this side by 5 as well as this side by 5. In fact, when we have an equation, we can add another equation to that equation and not change it. Say we have another equation, y minus 2x is equal to 5. Both sides are equivalent to 5. This equals 5 and this equals 5. If we add 5 to this and we add 5 to this, we're not changing that equation. It's still balanced. We're adding equal amounts. And that's exactly the trick we're going to use in order to eliminate the variables. So when we have two equations, if we can add them and have the variables cancel each other out, have both a positive and a negative, have the additive inverses when we add them, we can get rid of one of those variables. So in this case, we have a 2x and we have the additive inverse, which is a negative 2x. When we add them together, we get zero x's or zero. We have eliminated the x's just by adding the equations. So let's go ahead and add these equations. We have a y plus a y. Those y's are the same. We're trying to figure out the point at which these intersect. And the point at which they intersect, both the x and the y coordinate are exactly the same. So we can add y plus y, which will give us two y's. We have a total of two y's plus 2x plus a negative 2x is going to give me zero x's. And then we have our equal sign. We have to make sure we're just adding on this side of the equation and then on this side of the equation, this side of the equal sign, we're adding the same thing as well. So we have a negative 1 plus a 5 and that's going to give me a 4. So 2y plus 0 is just 2y equals 4. We divide both sides by 2 and we get y is equal to 2. That's our y coordinate that works for both of these equations. So now we have y is equal to 2. And now we need to figure out what x is. When y equals 2, what is x? What's our x coordinate? So to do that, we could go back here and we could try to eliminate the y's and figure out what x is, but I like to use substitution. So once I have one of these coordinates, I go back into substitution. I choose one of these. It doesn't matter which one, because remember our solution works for both of them. And I'm going to choose the second one this time. And so instead of a y, I'm going to put what I know y equals, y equals 2. So instead of y, I have a 2, minus 2x two equals 5. Now I'm going to solve for my x. So I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. When I subtract 2 from this side, it gives me a 0. Subtract 2 from this side, and it gives me a 3. So I have negative 2x equals 3. And now I'm going to solve for x by dividing both sides by a negative 2. And I have x equals negative 3 halves. And now I have my x coordinate. So this is the point at which these two lines cross. This should be a solution for both of these equations. I can check by using the other line that I didn't use in order to find my x. So I'm going to check this solution for this particular line. So instead of a y, I'm going to put a 2. Instead of an x, I'm going to put a negative 3 halves. So instead of y, I have a 2, plus 2 times x, 2 times negative 3 halves, is equal to 1. And now I'm going to go ahead and simplify this. I have a 2 plus 2 times negative 3 halves. I can think of that as a 2 over 1. Those 2's cancel and make a 1, and I just have negative 3 left, equals negative 1. That's that same negative 1. Now if I look at this side, 2 plus negative 3, I know that is equal to negative 1. And I have my equals negative 1, and check. Yes, that works for both of my lines. That's where these two lines intersect. Let's look at another example. So I have the equation negative y plus x equals 4. And I have the equation y plus 2x equals 2. These are both lines. I'm going to see if I can find the coordinate at which those cross. They intersect. 
So if I look at this one when I add them, I'm going to be eliminating my y's. I have a negative y here and I have a positive y here. So instead of eliminating x's, I'm going to be eliminating my y's. So when I add these equations, I have a zero y here, which is just a zero, plus x plus two x gives me a three x, four plus two gives me a six. I have three x equals six, I divide both sides by three. That gives me an x on this side and six divided by three gives me a two. I now have my x coordinate as two. And now I need to find my y coordinate. Now I can go back up here and try to eliminate my eliminate my x's and figure out what y equals, or I could just use substitution. I'm just going to use substitution and I'm going to choose this first equation. I could use either equation. So negative y plus x, and instead of x, I'm going to put in a 2. So negative y plus 2 equals 4, and now I'm going to solve for my y. So I'm subtracting 2 from both sides to isolate my y. And when I do that, I have negative y equals 4 minus 2 is going to give me a 2. So I have negative y equals 2, or y is equal to negative 2. So now I have my coordinate point at which these two lines cross. I can go ahead and check that with my second equation that I didn't use to solve for y. So it should work for both of my equations since it's the solution to both of them. It's the intersection point. So I'm going to look at this equation right here. And instead of a y, I'm going to put my y coordinate, which is negative 2. And instead of an x, I'm going to put my x coordinate, which is a 2. So negative 2 plus 2 times x, which is plus 2 times 2, equals 2. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the calculations. Negative 2 plus 4 equals 2. That's that same 2. Negative 2 plus 4 is 2, and that's equal to 2, and it all checks out. Now what if my equations don't work when I add them? So right here I have two equations of lines, and when I add them I get a 2y here, and I add these 2x plus a negative x, I'm going to get just an x there. So I haven't eliminated any of them. Well, I can actually manipulate the equation to be something that I can use in order to eliminate one of those variables. Remember, as long as I do the same thing to both sides, it's basically the same equation. So I can multiply both sides by 2. By doing that, I can get the additive inverse of this 2x and make that be a negative 2x, so that when I add them, it eliminates my x variable. When you're doing something like this, you want to rewrite that first equation so you can have a nice addition problem. So rewrite the first equation. It hasn't changed at all. My second equation, I'm going to multiply by 2. When I do that, I have 2 times y, which is just 2y, and 2 times negative x, which is negative 2x, and then 2 times 5, which is 10. So 2y minus 2x equals 10. This equation and this equation are equivalent. They're the same. So now I can go ahead and do my addition problem because I'll be able to eliminate my x's. So y plus 2y is equal to 3y. 2x plus a negative 2x is going to give me a 0x or a 0. So I don't even have to write that there. Negative 1 plus 10 is going to give me a 9. Now I can divide both sides of this by 3. 3 divided by 3 is just my y. 9 divided by 3 is 3. So I have y equals 3. That's my y coordinate. And I can use substitution to figure out what my x coordinate is. I can use either equation. I use the first equation. So instead of y, I'm going to put the y coordinate, which is 3, plus 2x is equal to negative 1. Now I'm going to solve for my x. I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides of this equation. When I do that, I have a 0 here. Negative 1 minus 3 gives me a negative 4. And I have 2x equals negative 4. Divide both sides by 2, and I have x is equal to negative 2. And now I have my x coordinate. And that is the coordinate at which these two lines cross. And I can double check it by using my second equation right here, where I have y minus x equals 5. So I can take this for my y and this for my x and make sure that makes a true equation. So instead of y, I'm putting a 3. 3 minus a negative 2. Instead of x, I'm putting a negative 2 equals 5. 3 minus a minus 2 minus a negative 2 equals 5. That's the same as 3 plus a negative uh, minus a negative 2 is going to give me a plus 2. And that is also equal to 5. So I have 5 equals 5, and my equation is true. Now what if you have two equations 
where if you multiply one thing by it, it's still not going to cancel with this. Whatever we multiply, let's say we want to eliminate y here, we can choose either x or y, but if we wanted to eliminate y, nothing I multiply this by or this by is going to be able to cancel with a 3 unless I use a fraction. So instead, I'm going to choose the least common multiple, the number that both of those will go into in order to eliminate one of the variables. And I could do x's or y's, I chose y's, and I multiplied it by, I'd really like this to be a 6 and this to be a, a negative 6. In order to accomplish that, I multiply by a 2. Now, I don't have to use the least common multiple. It just makes my numbers a little bit better instead of multiplying by uh, a larger multiple like 12 and, or a large, using a larger multiple. I'm going to use 6, which is the least common multiple. So I'm going to multiply the first equation by 2 and the second equation, I'm going to multiply it by a negative 3. That way, I'll have a positive 6y here and a negative 6y here, and when I add them, they'll cancel each other out. They'll make a 0y. We'll be able to eliminate the y. So I'm rewriting both of the equations in this, in this case. Both of them changed. So the first one I'm multiplying by 2. A 2x times 2 is a 4x. A 3y times 2 is a 6y equals a 2 times a 2, which is 4. And so I have 4x plus 6y equals 4. The bottom equation, I'm multiplying by a negative 3. 3x times negative 3 is negative 9x. Uh, 2y times negative 3 is negative 6y equals a negative 2 times a negative 3, which is a 6. Now I can go ahead and add them. I'm ready to eliminate the y variable. When I add them, I get a 0y. I don't have to write that down there. And 4x plus a negative 9x is going to give me a negative 5x. And that's equal to 4 plus 6, which is 10. Now I can solve for y, divide both sides by a negative 5, and I have x is equal to a negative 2. I now have my x coordinate. I can use substitution in order to solve for my y coordinate. And I'm going to use the first equation. You could use either equation. So the first equation is 2x, 2 times x, and I'm going to use my negative 2. So 2 times negative 2 plus 3y is equal to 2. Go ahead and simplify. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, plus 3y equals 2. Add 4 to both sides. I have 3y equals 6. Divide both sides by 3, and I have y is equal to 2. This is the point where these two lines cross, negative 2, comma 2, and this is a solution to both of these equations. I can do my check. I can use my second equation here to check. So I have 3 times x, and for my x I'm going to use my negative 2. So 3 times negative 2 plus 2 times y, I'm going to be using my 2, plus 2 times 2 is equal to negative 2. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6, plus 2 times 2 is 4, and that's equal to negative 2. Negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2, which is also equal to negative 2. Well, let's look at equations that are not set up to do elimination. Notice my x's and y's are not nicely lined up like they have been before. Well, you can actually just manipulate the equations so that they look like you'd like them to look. So in this case, I have my equal sign here and my equal sign here. The equal signs must add up or must line up before you add the equations. If they don't, you're not adding equal amounts to both sides. So for this equation, what I've done is I've just taken the 4x and subtracted 4x from both sides. By doing that, then my y's and my x's are lined up, as well as my equal sign. So I have y minus 4x, subtracting a 4x from both sides, equaling negative 3. And I have y minus 2x equaling 1. I just rewrote that equation. So this equation right here looks pretty close to what I want. When I add them, I can't eliminate any of the variables. y plus y is going to give me a 2y. So I'd like to multiply this bottom equation by a negative 1. And I can multiply the top one by a negative 1 if I wanted to instead. I just chose the bottom one. So I'm multiplying by a negative 1. I rewrote the top equation. And the bottom equation multiplied by a negative 1. You're just taking the opposite of each of those terms. So that would be negative y plus 2x equals a negative 1. Go ahead and add them together. My y plus my negative y is going to give me a 0. My negative 4x plus 2x is a negative 2x. Negative 3 plus negative 1 is going to give me a negative 4. Divide both sides by a negative 2, and I have x is equal to 2. That's my x coordinate. And I'm going to go back and substitute. 
Now I can use any of these equations to substitute back into. This is equivalent to this. This equation is equivalent to this. I chose to use the very first equation. Y is equal to 4 times x minus 3. And instead of my x right here, I'm substituting in the value I know is 2. Y equals 4 times 2 minus 3. Y is equal to 8 minus 3. Y equals 5. So now I've got my Y coordinate. And this is the coordinate point where these two lines cross. This is the solution to both of those equations. And I can go ahead and check that. For Y, I'm going to put in a 5. And for X, I'm going to put in a 2. And this should be a true equation. So I have 5 minus 2 times X. So minus 2 times 2 is equal to 1. 5 minus 4 equals 1. 5 minus 4 is 1. And that's equal to 1. And it all checks out.